Hello everyone, I'm Steve and this is the video about Chapter 3 Arctic Warfare Operation Homecoming Stage 2 Alright, uh, let's just see the... Uh, let's just, let me just help the people who want to avoid Jupiters, alright? So you basically need two teams, uh, level both level 90 and uh, plus a lot of uh, handgun teams to give you uh, actual action points and once you finish this stage, you get give you the intermediate training data with the 500 and uh, the two teams right here. You go all the way around here. This one should be a resupply knot. It goes through here and try to see if they have Jupiters right here. If they do have Jupiters, try to avoid it. If you want to really avoid the Jupiters, and go all the way there and find if this one has a Jupiters, uh, then go all the way there and go all the way up. If uh, they don't have Jupiters right here, and just go through it with it and go all the way around it and to here to the command post on the far right bottom, uh, which is pretty near our command post, uh, ironically. But uh, I'm gonna show you the way. I'm going to do to for this stage is by fighting the Jupiters. Really, you only need uh, two main teams and a one handgun teams that will be good enough. And this is also the stage where I usually found my. Uh, this, please listen carefully. This is the stage where I usually found my red envelope, daily at red envelope, right here. This is the fastest in chapter three, I would say. So let me first uh, deploy the rifle teams right here. Uh, if you don't have the kind of related, uh, like the T-Dots I have, uh, try to replace them with the two rifles. You know, any two rifles work. One, uh, one damage buff handguns, one rate of fire uh, handguns, and uh, one tanky handguns like Markov, PBK, uh, rate of fire like a Statch King, uh, Astra. Contender, you don't have to use Contender, you use uh, Grizzly, MK23, or even M1911 would work for you. You just had to find that type of uh, handguns, alright? Just resupply your team right here and go to that Raider. I'm gonna deploy another handgun team right here since uh, there's no one gonna attack our command post or heliport from here. There's only Jupiter's right here, so no any other mobs can get through it uh, get through in the site. So I'm gonna end the first turn right here. Okay, move from to for wheel road and move back, move back. Nice. That's called kiting method. Uh, if you, you are the first time, try to watch my videos. It's pretty useful for taking less damage. Alright, so I'm gonna use my rifle teams to end the second times right here. The wrist supply nods and try to capture it. Uh, remember, don't use your machine gun team, okay? Don't use your machine gun teams to fight the Scott. Scott are pretty... Uh, the Scots are pretty uh, scary with the machine gun teams. Because uh, machine gun has a very low accuracy. Scots has very high evasions in night battles. They are like the hell for machine gun. Alright, the Scots... What, what do I mean by Scots? Scots is this one, alright? You see that little flying heliport? Alright, or you can call it drone, alright? In the reality. You see, even my rifle team cannot... A lot of miss. <laughs> but it's definitely better than machine gun team to fight them. Okay, I'm gonna capture this... Uh, resupply knots right there, and I'm gonna... Resupply my rifle teams... Uh, like the third turn. Okay, let's resupply my rifle teams and uh, let's go through the Jupiters, alright? There's nothing to be scary. 
There's nothing to be scary. Move to the front. Okay. One more. Dodge that. Uh, one more Jupiter's and done. I don't know, Australia repair tickets, that doesn't really matter though. And uh, you have to use Link 5. I would say Link 5 in Chapter 3 is basic requirement. And that little, you know, Scots right there, that wouldn't be too much for us. After after we finish uh, that Jupiter's, if you know Kaini Matter, they will be like a piece of cake, I would say. Uh huh. Maybe too much. Okay. We match finish it. Alright. Anyway, lose affection. Um, maybe I didn't manage it properly. But anyway, got deployed in other AR teams. Resupply, switch it. And. Uh, Go down and end this turn. Pretty much you can finish it this stage in 5 turns. And that's definitely faster than any of the stage in chapter 3 I would say. I don't want to hot this plan. Okay, let's fight this uh, Scott. Too front. I have to withdraw Yun 45 since Thompson has the shield activated on, so I don't have to worry about her. But I gotta worry about my UMP 45. Uh, don't take too much damage. Maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe I should uh, use uh, AR team to clear that Jupiter instead of using rifle team since the Scott is uh, coming to us. So, a little advice for you guys. Even though I clear out this stage, uh, there are some flaws in my video uh, this time. So, I would say uh, instead of using this rifle teams, try to use some other like uh, ARs, alright? Because AR has a higher advantage to face uh, Scott right here. That's got really get us. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, that's where I usually found my red envelope. And if you like my video, please share them out. If you think that's good, please give a thumbs up. If you don't think that's good, uh, please give a thumbs down. I don't mind it. Uh, as long as uh, you think I helped you or I didn't help you, I'm sorry about it. So that's pretty much uh, everything I had to tell you for this stage. And I will see you in Operation Homecoming 3. Uh, would be a day battle.